Here's the weather with Larry. Oh, oh. Love your home, whatever the weather. With Good Morning Britain National Weather. Sponsored by CheckerTrade.com. CheckerTrade, CheckerTrade.com. Good morning to you, new set and some new weather. After last week's grey, disappointing, miserable conditions, I promise you warmth, dry, sunny, spring-like weather this week. Warm air makes its way up from the near continent. Temperatures in the low to mid-20s or high teens at the very least. So yes, things are looking up this week. Dry, bright, sunny. There will be some rain before we get there though. That particularly is evident out towards the west. But for now, a good looking start to the day, very reminiscent of where we were on Saturday. So fine and dry, Scotland, England, Wales, the odd shower around this morning, the winds turn southwesterly. This heralds our initial change, bringing up more of the warmth that like we saw on Saturday. Temperatures today, typically 13 to 16, maybe you could get 17 degrees, but behind me is what is moving in. More cloud and rain, the winds picking up to gales as we head through tonight and on into tomorrow. And it is worth pointing out at the moment, pollen levels are high. Now, at the moment, it is only tree pollen. That affects about 25% of hay fever sufferers, low elsewhere. And if you are fair skinned, it's worth pointing out moderate levels of UV as well. Temperatures on up as we head through the week. Enjoy. For the weather where you are in detail, go to itv.com forward slash weather. Monday, 16th of April, 2018. Live from ITV Studios in London, this is Good Morning Britain with Piers Morgan and Susanna Reid. Good morning, Britain. Our main news this morning, Theresa May will be preparing herself for a rough ride today in the House of Commons as she faces MPs for the first time since Saturday's airstrikes against Syria. In a statement, the Prime Minister will attempt to justify her decision to authorise military action without the consent of Parliament. It comes as Britain braces itself for retaliation from Russia in the form of cyber attacks. We have correspondence in Westminster, Moscow and Beirut. Let's first go to our political editor, Ranveer Singh who's in Westminster. So, Ranveer, Theresa May has launched these strikes without parliamentary approval. Today, she'll find out just how much Parliament approves or disapproves. 